Hello there, this is Ferg, BinaryOptions.com and we are continuing our Binary Options Academy project still with a project related to Elliott Waves. So far we've discussed on our educational projects that you can find on our website, we've discussed corrective ways, we've discussed impulsive moves, we've discussed the notion of a corrective wave, a simple or complex, and um, what does it mean with uh, ABC, ABC, three-way structure, five-way structure, so on. Under the category of the simple correction, we've discussed so far flats, zigzags and triangles, as these are the, the simple corrections, and we even implied we even made an example with uh, how to trade such a pattern with uh, Fibonacci relations, normally how to trade a flat. This, uh, this project it relates to a concept that is a bit unknown or not unknown, uh, that raises a lot of question marks when it comes to trading. I'm talking about, or when it comes to counting, uh, counting waves with Elliott waves, I'm talking about the concept or the notion of an X-wave. Well, an X-wave is it so called or is being called an intervening way an intervening way or a connecting or a connecting way intervening x-ray connecting x-ray what is the purpose of the, of, the, of, of the x-ray well the x-ray makes the difference or makes the transition from a simple to a complex correction if it is a simple correction, it can be either a flat or a zigzag or a triangle. If it is a complex correction, then you will have a flat, an X-wave, and then another correction will be a complex correction. Or you'll have a zigzag, an X-wave, and then another, another flat, and it will be a complex correction. Or you'll have a triangle, actually the triangle is not possible to be the first correction. You will have a zigzag, an X-wave, and a triangle and that is also called a complex correction. So, um, when it comes to the X-wave, to what market is doing after the first correction, X-waves are always corrective in nature. So we are talking about a corrective wave always for the X-wave. Now, the thing is that the X-wave as well can be a simple correction or a complex correction of a lower degree. Let me let me illustrate uh, let me illustrate here what this means. Let's assume that we have a zigzag now, not not a flat like it was on our on our previous example. So let's assume that we have a zigzag A B C. So this is a wave A. This is the B wave. And this is a C wave. Now, if it is a zigzag now, we have an A, B, C in the sense that wave A has a fiber structure, B wave is a corrective wave, C wave has a fiber structure. It is an impulsive move or a motive wave, if you want. And then the X wave to the upside, if it's a complex correction, it means that the X wave, let's say this is the X wave, will have this kind of a retracement. And then you have another a flat pattern A, and then you have a B wave, and then you have a C wave. This in this arrangement, this one is being called a complex correction because why? Because you have two simple corrections, namely waves A, B, and C. The first zigzag connecting by an X wave, so the first zigzag connecting by an X wave, and then another flat. One zigzag, one flat connected by an X wave. Here we go. We have a complex complex correction complex correction well if this is a complex correction then we gotta be very careful at the nature of the x-ray but we said the x-rays are always corrective in nature this one is always corrective in nature what does it mean? it means that over lower degree and let's illustrate it with a different color it means that over lower degree this cannot be an impulsive move let's make it in, um, in black this can be as well an A and a B and a C, but it should be counted with a lower degree. So either you are using uh, an underline, either you are using capital letters, either you are using a smaller, um, a smaller font, either you are using a different color, do it in such a way that so you know that the X-wave is a corrective wave 
and with different color or with different bold or with different font basically you will know that this one is of a low degree so what do we have again we have an ABC a zigzag to the downside then we have an x-ray which is a flat of a lower degree and then we have another flat of a bigger degree together it is being called a complex correction with one with one x-ray stay tuned for the second part where we'll introduce the notion of the Fibonacci and why it is important when you look at x-ray